Hisense dishwasher installation. Please read and follow the instructions in the owner's manual before you attempt to install, operate, maintain, or troubleshoot your dishwasher. Caution, the dishwasher is heavy. Have someone assist you with your home appliance to help prevent product damage or personal injury. Before purchasing a dishwasher, measure the install location for a proper fit. Measure the install location's pathway, which includes hallways, corridors, and door entries for proper clearance. If a door entry is too narrow, be prepared to remove the door. Situations such as stairway landings need extra clearance when turning the corner. Plan to remove any obstructions that may prevent you from moving freely through the delivery path, such as hand railings, shelves, or wall-mounted items. Take a moment to see what tools are needed for installation. Place the dishwasher near the install location. Use a cutting utensil to unbox your new dishwasher. Carefully remove all packaging materials. There is a zip tie that binds the foam base to the dishwasher at the back, near the bottom. Cut and remove the zip tie. Remove the dishwasher from the foam base. Dishwasher Components Inside the dishwasher, there is a user manual packet. Remove it. A model number sticker, limited warranty letter, mounting screws, and a countertop protective film strip also come with your user manual. The dishwasher is also equipped with a tow kick, cabinet setup. Depending on your setup, a pass-through hole in the cabinetry is required for the water supply, drainage, and electrical connections. Measure and draw an outline 5 inches from the back wall and 5 inches from the floor. To drill out a hole, use a 2-inch hole saw where you marked an outline. Measure the opening of the cavity's width. Cut the countertop protective film to match the length of the cavity's width. Peel off the plastic on the adhesive protective film. Attach it directly to the bottom of the countertop as shown. Water and electrical connection setup. Attached to the back of the dishwasher is the water supply hose, drain hose, and power cord. Depending on your setup, you may need to connect the Romex power cord directly to the junction box on the dishwasher. Make sure the circuit breaker that powers the dishwasher is turned off to avoid personal injury or product damage. Remove the junction box cover using the T20 Torx driver bit on both screws. To remove the power cord from the dishwasher, loosen the three wire connector screws on the junction box using a Phillips screwdriver to release the wires for removal. Remove the strain relief by unmounting the two screws and set them aside. Remove the wires from the connectors. Insert the external power supply wires to the appropriate connector, live, neutral, and ground. Retighten the screws. Reattach the strain relief to the junction box. Reattach the junction box protective cover. In this scenario, insert both the water supply and drain hose through the hole in the cabinet. The other person assisting you will begin to pull the hoses through. If a junction box connection is not required, plug in the power cord that comes attached to the appliance. Now insert both the water supply and drain hose through the hole in the cabinet. The other person assisting you will begin to pull the hoses through. If the wall power outlet is located underneath the sink instead, insert the dishwasher's power cord and both the water supply and drain hose through the hole of the cabinet. Attach the dishwasher's water supply hose to the sink's hot water line splitter valve. Use one wrench to hold the water supply valve and a second wrench to tighten the dishwasher's water hose securely in place. Attach the drain to the garbage disposal's inlet. If connecting to a new garbage disposal, make sure to break the knockout inside the inlet before use. Use a slotted screwdriver and hammer to carefully break the knockout. Do this until completely open. Remove the broken pieces from inside the garbage disposal using needle nose pliers. Cut the drain hose so it fits around the garbage disposal's inlet. Once complete, 
your garbage disposal should look similar to this example with a clamp securely attached to the drain hose. Turn on the water supply line connected to your dishwasher and check for leaking. Turn on the circuit breaker that connects to the dishwasher. Reminder, the dishwasher will not turn on if the door is closed. To turn the dishwasher on, first open the door and then press the power button. Once on, the control panel will illuminate. Dishwasher installation. Once the water and electric connection lines are properly set, try placing the dishwasher into the cavity. Be prepared, the dishwasher may not fit properly. If this happens, adjust the feet. Use a T20 Torx driver bit to adjust the back feet of the dishwasher. Depending on your screwdriver type, you can remove the drill bit and use the opening on the screwdriver to adjust the back feet screw. You can also use a slotted screwdriver or a flat adjustable wrench to adjust the front feet. For ease of use, we recommend using an adjustable wrench for this process. You can also have someone securely lift and hold the unit slightly while you adjust the feet with your hand or with the wrench. Push the dishwasher into the cavity while the other person pulls the water supply and drain connection lines from under the sink. Make sure the dishwasher is level. If uneven, readjust all the legs until level. An uneven vertical level may cause the auto door open function to malfunction. Once level, the dishwasher is now ready to be mounted to the cabinet. Take a moment to become familiar with the screws provided. You'll need to use the one and a quarter screw and the following adapter shown to fasten the sides of the dishwasher. These two screw types are used for the top area on each side only. Use an electric drill to mount the screw. Do the same for the other side. Use the remaining four 1-inch screws and its adapter on all other remaining holes. Use an electric drill to mount the screw on the bottom sides of the dishwasher. Two 1-inch screws can also be mounted on the top two holes of the dishwasher. Install the toe kick at the bottom of the dishwasher. Remove the blue protective film. Remove any and all packaging materials inside the dishwasher. Finished dishwasher tablet, rinse aid, and coupons are found inside your new Hisense dishwasher. You can also find your dishwasher's detailed information on the inside of the door on the outside frame. Double check the hose connections to make sure they are not loose, bent, or kinked. You are now ready to use your new Hisense dishwasher.